For months and months and months on this channel, the comment section's been reading exactly the same. Where's mid handicap Mark? Where's Spriggsy? Where is Mark? He's here. Let's do it. Here he is. Let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here, guys. First things first, we're going to get straight into it today. He's back. I'm back. Mark, how are you? I'm brilliant, thanks, James. Brilliant. Good. Great to see you. It's been a very oh. strange time for us all. It's um, crazy, hasn't it? But today, we're basically going to talk golf, talk handicap, talk potential golf clubs, and just have some fun. Absolutely. Um, would you like to lead us off? I am quite happy to. Yes. Perfect. I'm so this happy. is Stroke Index Nine, the second hole, which means that Mark gets a shot. I get a shot. <laughs> Always a tricky hole. It is, isn't it? Always a tricky hole. Get your driveway and it makes it a little bit easier, doesn't it? If you do, yes. <laughs> but if you stick it down the left... They have cut that back though, it's bounced as well, you're fine. You're fine there. I'll take it, if that's my bad one, yeah, yeah, exactly. we're fine. And we've even put Shot Tracer on there for you as well. What a day! Oh, what a day! Guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure you do smash that subscribe button below and also leave us a like, because it's so good to have Mark back. It's, the channel's missed you, Mark. It's been good to, it's good to come back. I mean, there's, it's been so difficult to actually yeah. get out and do anything over this last 12 months. It's, uh, uh, it's just been crazy. And I think for me as well, this, this week, um, Shops are opening, pubs are opening, restaurants are opening to some extent. So it's just, it feels like we're going back to some form of normality. We even got Dave doing a bit of work, which never happens. <laughs> so Mark, we'll kick off the episode talking a little bit of golf and talking handicap. So since we've last played together, the World Golf Handicap System has come into play. Coming, so yes, yeah. uh, I believe you've got a bit of news about the handicap. Well. Sort of, I suppose. I've, I've actually come down a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'm 9.8 9 .8. on the World Handicap System. Does that still class you as a mid-handicap golfer? Which Walter? equates to 12 on this course. Okay, right. And that's because of the because stroke of index stroke of the index. course. I need to get up on the new handicap systems. Yeah. And I'm not very good at it at all. But uh, how do you feel that is in relation to your golf that you're playing at the moment? Um, It's about right. It's about right just this moment. But, I mean, it's... So it's been a week back. Yeah. Um, I'm confident it'll come down further. Oh, very good. This year, yeah. certainly. So we might have a low handicap mark. Mm. We're gonna have to change your name to begin with an L because mid handicap mark's got a really good ring to it, but low yeah. handicap mark hasn't. So, um, but then Foxy might be pushing for the mid handicap Foxy. Well, there you go. So you it's, it's all coming into place. Yep. Right, let's find this ball in the rough, Mark. Find the ball in the rough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at this. Walking uphill, beautifully in the rock. Oh, it's sat like a dream. I don't know about you, Mark, but even hitting bad golf shots at the minute, I just don't care. No. It's just so good to be out. Oh. That is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Has anything changed in the bag? Uh, no. No? We are going to no. do some mass testing, aren't we? Everything in the bag at the moment is, is as was in closer last year. Yep. What have we got? 126. Bit of a flyer lie as well. Downwind pitching wedge. No. There was one more than that. Yeah? It's a back flag I suppose as well, isn't it? Because <clears throat> you don't want to be short on the screen. Absolutely not. Well, what you do want to be is on the green. Yeah. Long's Which not is, ideal either. The uh, tricky bit for me at the moment. <laughs> yeah. That's what that's what's con needs to be concentrated on. Oh, I struck that absolutely wonderfully. Hopefully, I've got a sneaky suspicion that might be long. I think that might be long, yeah, but we'll see. Might. We'll see. See, maybe I'm just an excellent caddy now. Maybe I've come back reincarnated. 
Right, terrible drive, but we're only just off the fairway, so we've gotten away with that. Yeah, the grass hasn't started to grow yet. So. Seen this, by the way? Fine caddy, UPL 100, the number one rangefinder in Japan and Korea. Did a video on it the other day, it's really, yeah. really good, it's quite cheap as well. We've just sat down a bit, and you know when you're not sure yeah. how to... I find even judging lies and stuff now is quite difficult, because you've just not been doing it. I'm sure yes. the guys at home yeah. finding the same. So, Mark, what are you enjoying the most about being back out on the golf course? I... <laughs> Oddly, I enjoy walking around the golf course carrying some clubs. Yeah. I mean, usually I have a trolley. Um, but just at the moment, I've, I decide to try and carry this year. Mm -hmm. I, start, yeah, anyway. and I, I think sometimes I do wish I had a trolley, especially with all the camera gear, but I just enjoy being able to nip round greens and tees and yeah, you, yeah. you end up walking a lot less distance, don't you, carrying a bag, so yes, I can only see one ball, Mark. But I was, uh, I've been very frustrated that I've, I've walked around a number of golf courses yeah. recently, I can meet up with, uh, with a friend and walk around the golf course with a dog. But I can't walk around the golf course with a pair of set of clubs. Yeah. Sort of thing. It's over now anyway. Right, I'm flag high. Good. I did well, say it was a pitching long. wedge, Mark. <laughs> Fly in my mouth then. Oh, wonderful. I'm not going for a high stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going for a, a nudge and hopefully roll it through somehow. See, it's a difficult one because I'm not guaranteed a two putt, am I? So how how close do you need to play it? Go on, go on, go on. You know what? That's actually. Just, I just caught the grip. You couldn't have done much more with it, could you? No, a little bit. Good shot. Well, yeah. This putt to force me to uh, hole out. Nice confident strike. Oh, I, I even thought at the end, I thought that's right, going to go. Shot. Well done. Oh, you might see guys as well, we are testing today the new ping putters for 2021. So we're going to have a video coming on that very, very soon with myself and Mark. Oh, he has as well. Ooh. 5-4. Nice five, half. 5-4. Nice respectable half on the first hole back with Spriggsy. That was good, yeah. No that's... one falling out. That was a close birdie, <laughs> close birdie chance for you there. Yeah. yeah. Right, hole halved in pars. Net pars. Um, par five now. We're going to play par four, par five, par three. So we're going to give you a good mix of <laughs> holes. Yes. Yeah. Mark, is there anything in the bag that you're thinking about maybe looking at in particular this year? Um, yeah, the driver and my three wood. Um, are the two that... Yeah, and they are and they're quite old now, aren't they? Is it the G410? Well, well, the, the G410 driver, so, so yeah, we've got 425 from Ping out now. Yeah. Plus plus the SIM2. There's loads, isn't there? the TSI from Titleist, plus the new... Callaway, Callaway. Mizuno, PXG, so there's loads. So there's lots of, lots of new clubs out there. Um, Whilst I know I hit hit this one over on the right on that on the first and left on the second. Day, yeah. What uh, what has been noticeable is that I've, I've been down the left a little bit. Totally different ball flight to what you had last year though, isn't it? Yes. Lovely. Yeah. We can get that under control. Oh, well, you've kept it under the wind. <laughs> so, I mean, about balance. <laughs> balance is all yes. over the place. Yeah. There you go. The crazy thing is, even though they're terrible golf swings, they're in play. Whereas I can, I can strike it really well and hit it 100 yards left and lose the ball, yes, so yeah, goal. Yeah. So Mark, do you want to just explain to us what we're saying back there on the tee? Because guys might not have heard, so you feel like the game's come on, you feel like you're hitting it further. Yeah, What's, uh, further. I've, uh, I know, I've taken a much, much closer look at my stats, Yeah. Um, which I know lots of people do, but lots of people don't do. Yeah. 
Um, and all right, it's early days in because I've only played what six times yeah. so far this year. But I've got what 28% fairway on yeah. fairway. Um, but my miss is left yeah. on the fairway. Um, so that's an issue. Need to try and correct that left yeah. off the tee with the driver. Um, and I'm only 34% greens in regulation. Yeah, which for a, a, a low handicap we'll go with isn't, yeah. um, isn't a great deal. And you know what, that's something which with stats, there's so many different uh, ways of keeping stats now that I think it's criminal if you don't do it, if you are wanting to improve your game. I'm a nightmare for not doing it, and I should. Yeah. Um, so definitely, what are you using, Mark? Are you using to keep your stats? Uh, uh, well, or? I've actually, I've, I've gone with Arcos. Okay. I've got yeah. Arcos in for this, this year. Yeah, so, so that'll be really interesting to so see. So that's, that's feeding back to me. Because yeah. ordinarily, I'd have said, I know I struggle chipping round greens. Yeah and I concentrate on working on my chipping and getting the ball closer to the pin yeah. to reduce the number of putts. But my chipping's good yeah. per arc or sort of thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm comparing myself to an eight handicapper. Yeah, but then it. I suppose as well, if you're missing, if you're missing 70% of greens, your chipping's gonna be tested probably too much, isn't it? Which well, is it is, it is, but I'm, I've got strokes gained on plus 1.8 on the yeah. short game yeah. against an eight handicapper. And I'm plus 1.2 on putting. So the short game's so good. Why on earth am I, would I be looking at either of those two at the moment? Great point, great it's, point. It's the, it's the approach. I love the, that. It's the drive. And that's something which Mark Crossfield goes into quite a lot. I speak to him heavily about kind of strokes gained and about stats and things. And if you are wanting to improve your golf, it's really the main way I think that you can separate facets of your game and, and work on them and get better, right? Um, see where this is. Right, Mark, gotten away with it, found a little gap. Oh. <laughs> Isn't it funny that there's all these big trees and it's the world's smallest tree that's in your way? Smallest tree that's in the way. So, knock it out sideways because it's only 150 to go. Yeah. Or have a oh, go. That, that gap is absolutely begging to be. I'm not going to reach the green, or am I like to reach the green? But, you've got to go for it, haven't you? Yeah, why not? Camera. Why not? You're on camera. We're here for a good time, Mark, not a long time. <laughs> Well done. I think I'm right in saying that's not how you planned that going, but it's done very well. Well, it's a shot I planned on playing. It just went a little bit left and a little bit higher than I thought it was going to. Very good. Right, that puts a little bit of pressure on in the context of the game, then. He's down near the green in two on the par five. Let's see if I can actually produce a half-decent golf swing. I was saying to Mark on the tee that I've been struggling a little bit with balance, and I don't know why. Might have something to do with the pubs being open this... Probably the, the pubs are open this week, so it's probably that, but... 2.12. I'm iron down, hope it. Is it dry enough to bound down now? It is, isn't it? Um, it's still a little bit wet at the front <coughs> of the green. Because the shot in the summer's land it short of the bunker and yeah. it'll keep right, isn't it? <coughs> There's a golf swing. That's not too bad, is it? That's not shabby at all. Up on it. Uh, yeah, it's probably just on front the edge, front. Funny that the bounce is deceiving because you think it's going close, don't you? Yeah. Very nearly shouted go in, but <laughs> you know, guys, I honestly can't say how good it is to be outside playing golf with some nice weather with friends, just relaxing. Yeah, you know, not. I think in the past we'd have tried to squeeze three videos out of today and segmenting them off, but we're just doing one video. We're going to play a couple of holes, and then we're going to play some social golf, which is my new year's resolution and, and i absolutely love it i think it's uh, you've got you've got to enjoy your golf yes yeah too many times you turn up at a golf course and you enter a competition yeah yeah it's either your own competition amongst your your mates yeah um there's there's not very often you turn up and just just, just go Play. around and have have a bit yeah. of a laugh absolutely and to think mark you were going to lay up at 150 yards <laughs> I think I'm just on that front edge, as you can see there, so quite happy with that as well. You could play this so many different ways, you could you could almost put it, to be fair, just down the ridge, yeah, but... I, mean, I know lots, lots of people would, would go for a, a, a low runner, but you just... Yeah, I don't particularly like that. I'm, I'd, yeah. I'd rather try and get the flight onto the green. Yeah, so almost land it between the flag and my ball. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the 
plan is. That's the plan. Yep, yeah, that also helps. New grips on there, Mark, are they as well? Yep, yeah, new grips for the new season. Very nice. Yeah, so that, so that is a change, yes, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Eagle eyed viewers would have spotted that. Yeah, not bad. It just took a bounce right, hasn't it? But yeah, which is always going to happen because of that. Uphill putt, though, so there's a positive there. Dip on that, yeah. Yep. Right, and I'm going to... I'm going to put this, because that's what Mark would have told me to do. It's quite as smooth as it could have been. Yeah. Sit, sit, sit. A nice roll. Just a bit much. Ooh, just a little bit much. You didn't want it back halfway there and it's just carried on going. Oh, I thought you had it. I thought you had it. I knew as soon as I struck it, it was just a bit too hard. This must mean that summer's on the way because there's a ladybird lady on my line. <laughs> Come on. On there. Oh. Look at that. Does that mean summer's here, I think? Where is it? Is it there? Yeah, it's going up the shaft now. I don't know how to get that off without hurting it. Love it. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Does it feel good with this? Well done. Yeah, it rolled nicely, didn't yeah. it? It rolled not very nicely. Good foot, Mark. Lovely. One up! <laughs> Yeah, not good enough. <laughs> so guys, myself and Mark are very much looking forward to testing all the latest gear for 2021 as well, because it's it's been... Usually we've done it all by now, haven't we? Yeah, oh yes. So we're a little bit behind, but get in the comments below and let us know what you'd like to see Mark test. Is there anything in particular you're really excited to test? Um, well, I'm... I'm Oddly, I'm looking forward to uh, trying the, the, the new Callaway driver. Yeah? That's the one that I think just looks really nice. It is really nice. Yeah, you'll, um, you'll not be disappointed with that. I've not swung it or hit it, of, of course, yet. But the, that driver, I'm, it's, it's of interest. Mm -hmm. um, I know the, uh, the TSI drivers. Yeah. I got on well with last year when they came out. Sort of yeah. Um, and so I'd like to... Take a look at those. Well, I must say that for me, the um, for me the new Callaway driver is very stable. Like if you hit it out the toe or the heel, you generally get a nice straight ball flight. Yeah. Which is what I found. But um, no shots here, Mark. No, no shots here. Uh, and to be fair, on you know the tailor made. Yeah. I haven't really hit the sim or the sim too. So. No. And it, uh, there's a lot of people who are probably yet to test these, and I, I, I've got that in there because it's fitted in my specs and it's yeah. very similar to what I used last year, but I'm looking forward to testing some stuff as well. Um, right. What have you got, Mark? Club boys. I've got 7-iron. Yeah. Because um, it's 149, it's, uh, it's uphill, so we're sort of talking 159. Into um, a bit of breeze. Into a bit of breeze, so... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm hoping the 7 is the right one. Oh, be the club. Yeah, a little shot. You went a long way up, didn't you? Yeah. But right to the length, just a bit right. Yeah, that's nice. Oh. Ooh, I didn't want that back nice, either. But not nice enough. Ah. Oh, tricky, eh? Tricky. Tricky. I honestly didn't want that back when it was in the air as well. I thought, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking it could be close this. Really finish him off. <laughs> <laughs> but no, bunker. You should know better than that, James. I know. You know, you can't. You must have struck yours well. Sorry? You must have struck yours well. Yeah. To get, yeah, uh, nice. Yeah, get up there. So interestingly, Mark's just mentioned that today we've had a Titleist ball fitting event here at Fixby and uh, you were there this morning, Mark. How yep. was it? What did you What did you get fitted into? Uh, they fitted me to the Pro V1 X, yep. which is the ball I'd previously been fitted to, but yep. that was, what, five years ago-ish? Yeah. Um, lots of things have changed in my game, mm -hmm. but obviously not the ball I need. No, and what um, was that giving you? Was it giving you a lower spin? Uh, it was giving me a higher spin. Right. Um, but 
it wasn't anywhere near as much spin. I mean, yeah. what, what, he, what he said to me was that I'm launching the ball very high, but I'm not putting lots of spin on it. Ah, oh, right. That's what you want. Sort of thing. Yeah. So, so he was helping me try to get a bit more spin. Yeah. To get closer to, you know, seven iron was coming out at sort of five, nine, six thousand. Yeah. Try and match the number on the bottom a little so bit more. Trying to get it up a bit more. Right. I've got this bunker shot. No, it wasn't even close for yardage wise either. Oh, check. Oh, good effort. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. What's the plan here, Mark? You chipping it? So I'm, I'm chipping it, but with an A time. Ah, okay. So, so sort of more of a putty kind of. Yeah. That bunker shot rolled out quite a long way. It's one of those difficult shots, isn't it? This you're very close to the green. Yeah, up against the fringe. Just off being a bit of rough. What do you play? Do you take a putter at it, which I guess a lot of people would try and do? Lovely shot. A little bit left on it, but it was a lovely shot. Nice execution. Yeah. I think all you've got to do there is give yourself a chance at the par, haven't you? Yeah. Very good at leaving those sort of things short. Yeah. Perfect line as well. Robbed. I was getting ready for the extra hole as well. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Well, Sorry, well guys. Played. <laughs> really enjoyed that. Cheers, thank James. You, Cheers, James. Time. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you have enjoyed that. If you have, make sure you do smash that subscribe button below. I've just realised we haven't still done the 18 hole match that we've been promising for two years. <laughs> no, no, we so haven't. We, we will get that over to you as well, guys. Get a thousand likes on this video and we will play an 18 hole match. We might put it over two, three parts, something like that. You don't, you don't want to watch a full, or do you want to watch a full 18 hole match? I don't know, like an hour long video. That's up to you. Apart from that, guys, thank you ever so much. There's going to be a lot more Mark back on the channel. Thank you, um, And we'll see you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye.